Hey there and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. We're so glad that you stuck with us because before the break we asked you which one of these dates was the accurate national pastry date and the answer is December the 9th. That's right, so there is still plenty of time to get ready for this year's Pastry Day celebration and we hope that in anticipation you can enjoy delicious pastries all year long. And speaking of something sweet, Valentine's Day is just around the corner so we thought it'd be super great to take you to it one spot in McAllen where you can enjoy some good old tasting V-Day drinks with your sweetie. Hello, good morning everybody. We're going to be making today the strawberry love martini. Okay, today we're going to be starting off with the strawberries. We're going to have some chocolate syrup and we're going to have chocolates. Uh, this is going to be made with uh, barca, barca, bay leaf and um, chocolate syrup. have so far and the last thing we're gonna need will be the chocolate. But you know what, Valentine's Day isn't just about people you love, but about doing things that you love, like your favorite hobby or your passion. Professional boxer Brandon Figueroa is from the Rio Grande Valley, and he knows all about this, turning his passion for the sport into his career. And our team had the chance to catch up with him for an inside look at what it takes to be a pro. Hello, my name is Brandon Lee Figueroa. Uh, as you can see, this is my gym, my second home basically. Uh, this is where I prepare for all my fights, uh, mentally and physically. Well, long story short, you know, I've always been a big dreamer since I was small. Um, when I was born, I was already around boxing because of my older brother. My dad taught my older brother to do to self-defense. Uh, but I did it out of, you know, my brother as my idol, me always having to catch up to him and trying to make my dad proud because I know my dad loves boxing so ever since I was little I always tried to strive to to beat my older brother and uh, any sport that my older brother did he he was the best in football basketball in anything that, that that he touched he was basically the best so I tried to compete with him I couldn't I was too small too scrawny I had a thinner frame than my older brother but when it came to boxing uh, I knew that I had I had a gift for this and I was born to fight and it was the only sport where I can kind of compete with my brother. So, you know, now we're here 20 years later since I was four, big, dreaming big and I'm living my dreams. So, yeah, hard work, a lot of hard work and dedication. I was staying in, in, in shape. I was staying fight ready just in case someone wants to fight in two months, I'll be ready. But yeah, you know, I, I come in the morning with my sister, work out, strength and conditioning. She's also my nutritionist. She does my meals to make sure that I make weight for my fights, which is another very important aspect in, in, in a professional boxer is making weight uh, and obviously looking good physically, but most importantly, making sure that you go to the fight 100% uh, and healthy as possible. So yeah, you know, I come in the morning, do my strength and conditioning, and then I come later in the afternoon, I'm around 6.30 p.m., and I do my boxing, I go run, run my three miles. If I don't spar, I do mitt work with my dad. You know, my, I love, I love this. You know, this is my passion. Uh, I don't see myself doing anything else but this. I've been in love with this sport since I was four years old, and you know, my dad has always been there behind me. My family, you know, my sisters, my my strength and conditioning coach, my nutritionist, my dad. He's my coach. 
my mom pushes me, my older brother. And yeah, you know, it's just a, a family affair of, of boxers and you know, they just want to see me be the best uh, boxer that I can. I can honestly care less about the fame. I just want to help my people, my community, and obviously the, the kids that, that look up to me. Um, you know, this year I couldn't have a, a toy drive. I couldn't have a back to school drive uh, due to the pandemic going on. But best believe that if next year everything clears up, uh, I'm gonna make sure to accommodate the kids. You know, I love making the kids happy because I used to be them. I used to look up to professional boxers when I was small and it just felt nice for them to just buy me a happy meal. And if I can do so much more for the kids, then I will do it. Be sure to visit PremierBoxingChamps.com for more information on, and stats on his matches. Brandon's always involved in his community and he loves to inspire people to follow their dreams every single day. That's also the mentality of the educators at Cameron County Education Initiative in Brownsville to help students achieve their dreams through a powerful education. And our team went ahead and dropped by their campus to learn more. So the involvement with CCEI yes. began when uh, my nephew, who actually works in my company, uh, told me about this need of this organization requiring or needing, having the need for some computer uh, systems for a special course in, in uh, computer animation. Um, so I, about three years ago, I was invited to, 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 to do a speech by the Bramley School District for a graduating class. and. Um, my interest there was basically to start promoting computer programming from, from grade school. Uh, I, I, tra I travel uh, to, to Europe and Asia uh, yearly, on a yearly basis, to, to conferences, and I, and I realize everybody, everybody's talking about the, the, the potential shortage of programmers uh, you know, by year 2025. Organizations like CCEI are, are, are actually willing to take that, that leap and, 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 and are genuinely wanting people to succeed and have a successful career. And, and so that, that was one of the reasons we, we donated, we made this donation and we're involved with them. Feel free to visit their location in Brownsville to learn more. And you can also give their team a call or check out their website for all the resources offered. With a good education, students can go on to become engineers, teachers, doctors, and so much more, including boxers like Brandon. And while the boxing scene is thriving in the Valley, so is the wrestling scene. Our team had the chance to catch up with semi-pro wrestler Chris Austin from the Upper Valley to learn all about what uh, shows that you are invited to this year. Uh, hey guys, it's Chris Austin here to tell you about wrestling here in the RGV. Uh, we're standing here at New Breed School of Wrestling. Uh, we train hard every day, morning, night, uh, sometimes on our day offs we're still training. Uh, it's that, and it's just not in the ring work that we have to do. We're making sure we have the right equipment, you know, on the mics. We you know we don't want any faulty mics. People want, we want people to hear us. Uh, we're buying new ring mats, you know, that look beautiful, new entrance uh, curtains that look amazing, and, and it's all because of you guys. Make sure you guys come out. It's gonna be April at Brewsome. And you know, just come on out, have a fun time with us.
All right, thanks again so much for joining us today and be sure to tune in again and next time on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.